Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial of creating browser. And today we're designing on the 3D logo design. We have got the alphabet S, which has got a 3D perspective view and has got a nice 3D depth and glossy effect. So, to design this logo, we'll first use the rectangle tool and create out this basic shape of this lower design. Then, with the help of extra and bevel option, we'll create out the basic structure. And after that, with the help of end to line segment tool and shape builder tool, we'll create out this upper design and do some tweaking stuff. Then after that, fill up the gradient color and finally add up the 3D depth, shadows and the gloss effect. So let's begin the tutorial. So I'll select the rectangle tool and create out a rectangle of width around 100 points and heights around 120. And okay, so we created a rectangle 100 by 120 here. Next thing I'll do is I'll just go here and click this small rounded corner and make the corner round so almost like this, giving some space line, straight space here. That and after that, let's increase the stroke thickness like that. Let's change it to something like blue color for now and remove the fill color like that. And after that, I'll just do is I'll just uh use the scissor tool so here's the scissor tool and i'll give a cut around one around here and other a cut here and after that just select this upper piece and delete it out then selecting this with the direct selection tool select this point and just drag it till here now once you have done that select this point and make the corner round like this so we got this nice round structure like that after that what I'll do is I'll just select this and scale this up a little bit this much and let's see the thickness so I think uh, let's do some tweaking with the thickness of this stroke like that okay that's fine and after that go to object path outline stroke next thing we need to do is we need to align this point so I'll just bring out the ruler control R and align with this point now after that with direct selection to select it select this point and just bring it along this line like that in the same way select this and just go and bring this still here like that so like that and after that delete the ruler now once we got this let's check it out we need some gap here like that you need to see here and here at this corner we need to make this round so by selecting that make this round like this so we need this round structure like that so after that we'll do the extra bevel option so I'll just select this one with a selection to select that go to effect 3d extra bevel and here we will do some adjustments so first of all i'll just select go here and select this isometric left and let's preview it so we got that nice depth here now after that i'll just increase the extra depth according to the design so you can see here we need some depth here so i'll just go there and increase the depth according to our design like that and let's play with around with the perspective view so I put around 130 and let's check it out so you can see okay we got that nice perspective view like that let's check it out like that okay uh, we can uh, play around with the perspective view like that or maybe I'll just keep it around 120 let's check it out like that so let's see okay that's fine uh, we can play around with the angles here like that you can just click and just play around with that or maybe here also you can just play around with this according to your design so I'll just go around and I'll just make this so like that so after that what I'll do is I'll just click ok for one now and let's check it out okay that's good uh, we can do some tweaking so I go to appearance and 3d extreme bevel option and I'll do some tweaking here again so again go to symmetric left like that and increase this to 120 increase the extrude depth like that let's see okay that's fine and i'll just leave this like this so after that i'll just click ok and go to object and expand this so expand appearance 
ungroup it, ungroup it and now select this piece and this piece and go to pathfinder and combine it and let's fill this up with some plain color like that in the same way I select this this piece this piece and this and combine it and I fill this up with certain different colors so that I can see that so we got this piece this piece this one is separate you can see this one is separate this one is separate now next thing is we need to work on this upper piece so to create that first of all let's create the basic uh, outline so to create the basic outline we'll use the line segment tool so I'll select the line segment tool and create out the line so I'll just fill this up with the stroke color and from here click and drag and I just uh, make a line according to this flow after that, what I'll do is I'll just extend this like this and go to here reflect tool double click preview it and I'll just copy it one more time and I'll just bring this around here like making the alignment like that and just extend this a little bit more like that and I'll just create one more so according to this my thing will be like going from here so I just I draw one more line segment from here and with the ship press straight in the same way you just close this up with the ship pressed I'll just close this up once I have created this what I'll do is I'll just make this select this to this and this and with the shape builder tool select it I'll just fill this up with certain colors so I select the color from here and just fill this up like that and delete out this corner pieces so I just select this delete delete or uh, delete this out delete this out delete delete so we got that I'll just arrange it to back like that okay we got a background here so control 2 and just delete this out for a while so we got this now I'll just remove the fill color here and go to stroke and I'll just make this align stroke inside and I'll just increase this stroke thickness from here so you can see okay that's going like that and after that what I'll do is I'll just do the corners round so make the corner round so to do that I'll just like this that selection tool and make it according to our design so you can see we need this flow going like that and again coming there so that's good now next thing I'll just work around with the shape so let's do that I'll just make this a little bit thinner like uh, one like that's okay now after that select this this one that's good uh, what I'll do is I'll just add few more points so with the pen tool selected I'll just add one point around here and other point should be around here so I'll just select this arrange to front and with the pen tool selected add a point around here and to make this like curve here so what I'll do is so what I'll do is I will select this and place it around here this one selecting this I'll just place it around here maintaining that flow like that now with the anchor point tool let's make this round so I'll just select this and maintain that flow In the same way selecting this I'll just maintain this curve here you can see that now with the die selection tool let's tweak the handles so I'll make this a little bit like that this one I'll just make this a little, a little shorter here giving that flow and this one let's extend this to maintain the curve like that from here also I need some so with the anchor point tool selected I'll just break here one point like break this here one and other selecting this I'll just maintain this flow like that so let's check it out okay let's maintain this like that so now overall that's good in the same way I'll just maintain this flow so selecting that I'll just maintain the flow this one we need that flow you if you check it out we can see that we got a nice flow here in the same way we need here one more so we need that and I'm just creating maintain that properly like that so tweak it out until it's perfect and done and let's do some tweaking here so we need this so to do that I'll just add few more points here so with the 
pen tool selected I'll just add one point around here and make sure that it's placed according to this here and this one I'll just bring it until this here maintaining the flow here and let's do the tweaking here so I'll just maintain this according to this using this handle like that and this one well, we can leave it like that that's it's going to be below there so there's no need to tweak that up if you check it out it's like that now next thing is we need to maintain this so I'll just select this and let's do some tweaking here so if you check it out we need to some do adjustments here so I'll just bring this till here making that a little bit shorter here and more round like that and let's do the other stuff so what I'll do is I'll just like that increase the stroke thickness and let's check it out how much thickness you need to give so let's see here see here and let's uh, give the thickness so let's increase it like that okay that's good 12 is I think good 12 is good so selecting that object expand appearance and this will convert this into object form now with the rectangle tool selected I'll just create a rectangle like that from here cutting giving a cut from there like that and I'll just uh, stroke uh, give the stroke color now selecting the both with the shape builder to select it just change the color so I'll just select uh, the color from here and apply it here so like that and now rest I'll just delete it out so selecting that delete this delete this delete this piece and we are left with this and after for this I'll just remove the uh, stroke color and let's work out with the shape so first of all with the die selection to select it, I'll just place it according to the here. And this one, if you check it out, we need this nice curve here. So we need to create that. So what I'll do is I'll add a few points here, one point here. So with the pen to select it, I'll just draw a point here. And after that, what I'll do is select this point and just bring it till here. And with the anchor point to select it, we'll just maintain this flow. So let's do it. So like that. And this one we need to break it here like that and with the pen uh, die, die handle tool we'll just do this uh, tweaking here like that and let's check it out and I'll just arrange this to back so that we can see this here you can see that nice curve here now if you want to do more tweaking you can go on and here uh, we need to do some stuff here if you check it out we need to give some nice round curve here so let's do that I'll just select this points and push it up a little bit and make the corner a little bit rounder like that and after that we need to create this inner surface so to create that I'll use the pen tool so using the pen tool I'll just draw out from here and going here I'll just make that curve like that break that point here and let's create out that shape which we want here so I'll just create that from here and finish it around here and let's fill this up with some different colors so I choose some different color like dark one and arrange to back and let's check it out okay that's good so we need some little tweaking here so let's do some tweaking so with the die selection to select it I'll just do the tweaking with this handle so that we can give that nice curve here so if you check it out we have created that stuff next we need to give that highlight edges so to create that what I'll do is I'll just select this and duplicate this Control C Control F and change the stroke color to white and you can see the direct change here and I'll just select this and arrange to front and it will be on the top so selecting this I uh, will just uh, do the adjustment so let's give the stroke thickness to 0.5 okay that's good for here and let's do some tweaking here so we need to do some here so with the die selection to select it or maybe with the anchor point too let's make this round so let's make this like this and with this selected let's maintain the flow like that so let's check it out okay that's good let's work out let's do some more tweaking so with the die selection to select it select the handles and maintain the 
flow like that. So we have given that nice one. So after that, with the right selection, select this, select this, go to object, path, outline stroke. And this will convert this into object form. So we need that. Now let's fill this up with the green color. So first of all, select this, or maybe this. And with the happy color, select this color. With the G, apply the green color properly like that. Giving the bright color on top and a dark color on the bottom. Selecting this, I'll just fill this up with this gradient color here. G for gradient. And again, do this tweaking here. So I need that uh, bright color around here and dark there. So I'm just applying it in that way. You can see that like that. Now inner, we need some pink color. So with that, bigger, I select this and G and let's do some tweaking. So we need the lighter here and darker here. So I'm just maintaining that flow so you can see that in the same way selecting that with the eye picker I select this um you can select and uh, choose this one also i have given two um, variation in the paint color so v or uh, g for gradient and just apply it out like that and giving that nice uh dark shadow here and the light there this one that's applied with this or maybe this we have got a little variations here so here we need some dark color here and lighter there so we need to apply that like this you can just play around with this gradient tool and you can apply a nice gradient color there and after that let's uh, see okay now next thing is let's uh, do some let's create some highlights so to create that first of all let's draw this shape so with the pen tool, I select this and create out this basic shape here. So first of all, uh, first of all, click and one around here, giving that nice here, finishing it around here and finishing that. And after that, with the dice selection selected, I'll just select these two points, make this round corner, and what I'll do is apply the color from here and this is basically uh, the gradient color if you check it out here here's the color here's white on both side but on the one side the opacity is zero and on the other side it's hundred and after that in the transparency we have applied overlay so with the gradient tool selected you can just play around with its direction of this color so we need some light color here and dark, uh, the opacity is zero over there so it will blend properly Next, we need to add this. So what I'll do is duplicate this. Control C, Control F, and duplicate it one more with the Alt. Just click and drag, and I'll just scale this up a little bit, like giving that here and place it here. After that, selecting the both or the Pathfinder, subtract it, and we're left with this piece. And I'll just apply this with the same green color, and I'll just scale this down. Before that, let's check me. Check this. Okay, we have gone. Ungroup this and delete this out. And let's place this here. And let's scale this down according to our design, like that. Here, if you check it out, like this. And let's play around with the uh, gradient. So G. Let's do that. The give and under opacity. Uh, we'll reduce the transparency opacity here. So let's reduce it to around 55 like that Let's create one more so if we check it out we need to create the shape So with the pen tool, I'll just draw it out from here. I'll just give one nice curve here Break that point and just finish it like this and we have created that in the same way Just uh, we can just play around with the opacity level G and a gradient and just play around with the gradient color like that so nice one we have given that nice glossy effect you can just play around with the gradient color giving that nice detail here like that next we need to go and create this one so I'll just draw it out with the pen tool so just use the pen tool it's much faster and easier way to create something like this like that from here maybe from here giving the nice curve break that point and now 
and just finish it with the flow like that and this one I just arrange to back and with the control and close square bracket you can just bring it up like that so let's see that's good we can just reduce the opacity or maybe just uh, screen it out like that or maybe let's see the uh, variation so I'll just keep the screen and reduce the opacity to around 47 or maybe it's your choice like that then we need to create this shadow so to create that I'll just duplicate this Control C Control F and I'll duplicate one more with the all press just click and drag it out and I'll just scale this up like that and this one I'll just place it around here and selecting this with the pathfinder selected subtract it out and we are left with this so after that what I'll do is I'll just apply some dark color so we got some dark color with the RP color just select this color here it's black you can see that or maybe I'll just choose it from here we got that or maybe this here you can see this is the dark one one so we can play around with the green tool and just play it around here like that and if you check it out we have got a nice dark effect in the same way uh, we can do some style here also so with the pen tool selected draw out here like that from here giving that nice curve break the point this this and this and with the die selection tool just maintain this and I'll just arrange to back control close square bracket like that and let's apply this one so with that picker I just choose this color and if you check it out it's basically black but if you go here it's overlay and the opacity is reduced to 75 65 maybe or you can just play around with the opacity like that so it's normal uh, black color so you can just go here and choose the black color and that would be good like that so in that way you can create this same so just play around with the opacity here and nice three depth is created we need one more piece here so I'll just do is duplicate this Control C, Control F, and with the line segment, I'll we'll just draw out one line from here like that, and let's give it some uh, different color like that. And selecting that with the shape builder to select it, I'll just separate this out, and I'll just give it some different colors so that we can see that. And the rest, just delete it out. So selecting that, that, and that, and this one, I'll just apply this overlay color. The same here, G just do the transfer uh, give that nice uh, flow color flow like that giving that uh, gloss effect here and merging from downside like that giving that and if you check it out that's good so we have given that nice glossy uh, looking style to this overall it's now good I can just scale this up a little bit more and place it here so we've got a nice 3 a logo here I need to add some glossy uh, maybe their shadow so let's uh, use the uh, ellipse tool and create out an ellipse from here and just drag it out like that and what I'll do is I'll just apply this with this a uh, nice shadow color basically it's a, a gradient color so if I go to gradient and if you check it out we have got this all three are black color but here the opacity is zero the middle one has 65 another one is 95 so it's making uh, the gradual transform so after that I'll just tweak this gradient tool here and just scale this up according to here and if you check it out this is the middle one 95 percent then 65 then 0 so we can just play around with this giving that nice uh, shadow to your stuff or logo and if you check it out it's nice you can just scale this down a little bit according to your size and fine now I'll just arrange this send to back so that it will be on the back and one more thing uh, we have left out this so I select this this one the outline uh, what I'll do is I'll just apply some green color here so I'll just choose a green color here maybe 
a different one like two shaded color like that and after that I'll just go to gradient and this one I'll just apply some light blue color so here I'll just make it light blue and this one make it white and just uh, do some tweaking linear make it linear and let's apply it so here I need white and here light blue and let's make that flow so if you check it out we got that nice great flow here so overall it's looking good we need to add that text so T text S E S S I O N session like that uh, the font which are using here is the TW sent empty so uh, let's just type it out TW and it's there and I'll just scale this up a little bit here and it's regular and let's play around with the font size maybe around 18 according to the logo size uh, you can increase it to 20 also that's good that's fine so then after that I'll just place it according to the place and finally we have completed our logo we have created some interesting stuff here we have learned a lot of stuff in this uh, designing I hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates from designing you can press the subscribe button thank you